Well, while you guys go down to the woods, I'm gonna tell you what we're doing. We already have camp set up. We had went there earlier and then we decided to video it. So now we're gonna make a video about it. We're gonna be camping out in the woods. It is gonna be 20 degrees. So enjoy and stay tuned. There we go. So guys, we're gonna have to be cutting wood too. <coughs> too, um, put on our fire tonight, so. Yeah. So now we're gonna be using the pitchy bone. Really good saws. We'll cut through the rest of the way. Bang! We just split through that log easily with that axe. Slices like butter. Too this might not be the straightest grained piece. wood, but hey. Bite through it like butter. Yep. Look. And then comparing these two. They both do the same job. They cut real good. I chop things up with butter, like butter, not with butter. Yeah, then they just both work like the same amount. Just the more is half the money of that big knife. I I lose one. Yeah, so I'm sure you'll find. Here's the two more companions. They're both heavy duty. Same These thing. are both more companion heavy duties, but we have them in both colors. So we have two trail boss axes, we've got two Ichiban saws, and we have two more. So I think that'll get the job done. We got As the you can see, they're cutting yeah. so the ever. Nice shaving is coming from that mora. This thing's straight out of the here. box. Yeah, straight out of the box. Sharp as a rock. We just did Christmas, so that's why we got all these new tools that we're testing, trying out. Yeah, look at that thing split. It just splits it like butter. All right, guys, we are found a few hot embers in our fire from um, uh, earlier today. So we're gonna see if we can get this grass lit. And we'll put our stick that we chopped up yeah, with the moras and the itchy bonds and um, trail balls. So stack these so, curled yeah. sticks up here. And that's what the, the cold steel and the Laura did right there. Yeah, nice I'll give pulse. it air while you. Let's see. If we can keep the fire going. So it looks like that was embers that we found from earlier on today really worked. Man, there we go. So we got the fire nice and roaring. So now we're just throwing on all of our extra little ones because it's always good to have more little ones than not enough little sticks and twigs. So yeah, we've got a nice fire going. Okay, next off, we're going to get our shelter done. Now we're going to keep working on our shelter. So we just kind of threw our stuff in there, but we have, oh, I'd say 10 inches of nice, fluffy um, pine boughs. It's, it, it just melts into your body. It feels so good to lay on it. Yeah. But we have some heavy-duty blankets here. We're going to put over ourselves tonight. I think the low is about 20. Yeah, I Somewhere feel like it's supposed to be 15, so or something like that. But we're yes, gonna feel we are going to be sleeping in sleeping bags. We aren't just going to be covering up with heavy-duty blankets. Okay, this is a Coleman. This is a sleeping bag that I'm going to be sleeping with. It's rated for 20 degrees Fahrenheit. I hope it keeps me warm. We're also, um, once 
we're all gonna lay down and we have those blankets right there that should keep us nice and toasty they're pretty thick so yeah and then over here we shouldn't have a problem staying warm me and mr cameraman we got 10 degree sleeping bags those are trail dimensions everything like that it's called a mummy sleeping bag so we might i don't know turn into mummies or something <laughs> Okay. Another mommy sleeping bag. Okay, we got this big old log over here that we cut with the itchy bones and did a really good job. So now we're going to take it over here to the fire and let it dry out since we think it's a little bit wet. Yeah, it's big. Yeah, our fire is still. So, we're gonna come out here. We cut a few dead trees around here, and so we're going to get some wood. You can see Daniel's already found a piece. I cut this from trees. I'm not even putting that much pressure on here, it just bites right through it. Man, that thing's the boss of the trail. Okay, so the switch of things, now the new trail boss. And the unexperienced axe handler. We got more coming. Got a nice roar and hot fire. Building our bed of coals. Getting this log right here. Get that thing started burning real good. Get the moisture out of that log. It's, it had some moisture in it. We have our uh, wood pile. That we got a lot of wood, and we have a lot of brush. So plenty of fuel for a night and yeah our camp that's how our camp camping grounds looks like I guess so ah uh, we should be toasty gonna get three cups for all three of us that's good we got some tea we gonna make Then we'll put it on the fire. Maybe I'll let it die down a little bit. I'm gonna get some. We remember. Yep. Got a nice bed of coals to set the thing on. Let it boil now. So now we're gonna get the water off the fire. So we can put it in our cups and drink. Put some tea bags in it. So we can drink some. Yeah. Tea. You got your tea right there. There's my cup. Get it down on the ground. And Dustin's cup. Now I'm gonna have some night tea. It'll be pretty good. Look at that. 
some great tea. Mostly just hot water though. <laughs> great. Gonna go ahead and start setting our Siberian fire up. We have our center log and then we'll have all the other logs on it. The center one is the, always the biggest. Uh-huh. And you just overlap them in the front. And then the rest of it sticks out the back. And then slowly we'll just move them up as they burn. Okay, we're all in here. Yep. All four of us. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. So. We're just in here chilling. We are cooking. Here's the countdown. It just happens to be New Year's Eve. So soon it will be the new year. There we go. 2024. Let's go! It is 2024. And what, guess what we, where we are? Camping. Man, that's nice. Uh -huh. We're just ready to crawl into our sleeping bags. Some of us already have, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cold in our sleeping bags. I'm gonna have to get that body heat off. <laughs> Okay, this is the next morning. Stoked up the fire again. And warming up the inside of my boots, but goose, it's getting hot. So I'm pulling them back. The camp guard over here, he did really good. And then we have these two sleepy heads, right? There's Logan, and there's Dustin. So, how was your night? Great, I stayed perfectly warm. Okay, and this is 2024, January 1st. Um, yeah, I got up this morning and I didn't wasn't even cold last night, so very successful night. Uh, yeah, with the this Siberian fire here, I stayed pretty warm. It reflected the heat back off to me. I'll kind of explain how it works. So if you cut down a tree, the the bottom log is your base log, it runs this way. It's this log, it's all burned up. Um, and then you take the rest of the logs and just lay them, like this log here, they're all pretty burned up. And then you just lay them up in the back end of the log, somewhere back here. And then you just lean it over the front of the this base log and it would burn and as the night goes on, you just keep moving the logs up. And yeah, it, it, it did really good. You had a good base log and we're just kind of getting it stocked up again for this morning. So good. I was really hot in there. I mean, the pine boughs made a very comfortable bed. We woke up two times to stop the fire again. But other than that, this Siberian fire just worked like a charm. I mean, it worked great. It reflected that heat back into there really nice and kept us all nice and warm. All right, I had a good night's sleep last night in the Ozark Trail sleeping bag and the fire kept us warm. The Plot Point Shelter here is another thing that kept us warm. As you can see there, we climbed up the tree there and pulled or tied the rope to it there. And then it leads to one corner of the Plot Point Shelter. And the rest of the four corners, it should be a square, should be staked to the ground, as you can see. Yeah. Well, we'll start with our Cold Steel Trail Boss right here. Paid $45 for it, and I just got it, so it should be $45 wherever you get it. And it is just a beast. It just cuts through in here. Works absolutely great. Okay, and then I have got uh, also a trail boss axe. 
it's the same as Dustin's. It's just two and a half to three years older. I bought this thing for $20, two and a half to three years ago. Big price change. Um, yeah, I love this ax. I had to change the handle because I kept missing and hitting down here. But yeah, this thing just wax. It chops hard. And I had a friend chip the blade on this thing. And yeah, I just reground it. And I mean, it didn't seem to affect anything. It still works great. I love this ax. There they are. Okay, and then we have the itchy bond saw. This thing is also a great tool. I love this thing for cutting wood. You get some wood cut fast. It's the Sam Samara or something like that. And plastic sheath. And yeah, I don't know much about the sheath. It just works, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, one interesting thing about this saw is the teeth are designed whenever you cut through the log or you cut going forward and backwards and it just speed cuts and I love the handle grip. It just melts in your hand, so. Yeah, I love this saw. Same thing here, I got the exact same saw. My dad actually had it before, so I just started using it. Same here, the handle grip is just perfect. It's dynamite, so. Love this saw as well. And then we come to the Mora. This thing probably isn't for so much heavy work, but more so your carving, bushcraft, so you can still do some pretty good batoning. I mean, I can cut just about anything with this right here. So I really like this thing. It, it you When you look at it, you wouldn't think that it was the greatest of knives, but it I've beaten this thing. If you can hit the tip, you won't break it. And as, if this thing can go through, you can hit this and you will go through. I mean, I haven't not been able to put on something with this thing. Okay, and I got also, I also have the Mora Companion. I just um, got it not too long ago here. And it cost $22. I haven't used it much, but yeah, it had a razor sharp edge when it came. It, yeah, it does really good on feather sticks. What I've used it for, I like it. Yeah, here's our fire, and there's our shelter. And uh, the wind keeps swirling around in here, and it keeps blowing that way. And Logan can't figure out why, so he just keeps saying that. And, um, yeah, it's kind of getting, it's going to get dirty here, if we, or like the, going to get covered in soot if we don't clean up, so we're going to clean up real quick. Okay, well, we're gonna cut this piece here. It looks very straight grain, doesn't have too many knots. So let's get the cut. This is some nice wood here. Take that close to it right there. Yeah. It's really good. Get this thing out of here. Gators coming.
All right, guys, so you've been just sitting around the fire here making, carving around here. You've been trying to make spoons here. So Dustin's working on his over there. Daniel's over here working on his. You can see he's getting pretty good there. And yeah, going good on Dustin's too. Alright, so now we're going to be taking down the shelter. So Dustin's up there untying the rope. So, yeah. Looks like we got her untied. So now, we already pulled all the stakes. So, yeah. Gonna be putting out the fire now. We threw the logs down in the creek, but just making sure it doesn't spread. Packing up. Well, guys, I think that's going to be it for this one. Be sure to like and subscribe. Bye. Well, guys, that's going to be it. Camp's all loaded up on the four-wheelers. Now we're going to head on out of here. <laughs>